Hey Simsters, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about all of my makeup empties. I've already done hair and skincare empties on my channel just about uh, two videos back, I think a week back. And I promised you guys that I'm going to be making a separate video for my makeup empties. So here we are. I have so many products right here that I have finished and I have loved, enjoyed using them. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying them again. All these products are a mix of drugstore, high-end, and benefit mostly benefit I think we're gonna keep a separate section for benefit products in this video and in case if you guys love the makeup look that I have on me right now and you want makeup deeds and everything I'm gonna be posting a mini tutorial of it on my Instagram tonight or maybe tomorrow morning um, so yeah stay tuned follow me on my Instagram if you guys aren't following me already also don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you can be a part of my Simster squad and with that let's begin so you guys know how much I love benefit products like these are my every day makeup essential products that I've recently finished thought I should just keep them in one separate section and just cover all the benefit products before I jump into other products first product that I'm gonna be talking about is the professional primer I have finished two tubes of it one big tube and one mini of it I'm gonna be calling for more obviously now this is one of my favorite favorite primers because it's a silicone based primer and it's got that very nice powdery finish it actually helps in blurring your fine lines and you know it actually gives a very nice smooth even surface for you to begin your makeup on. I don't use primer when I'm doing my everyday makeup because you guys know I don't use foundation uh, for my everyday makeup. I just use concealer and tint and everything. But when I'm doing my makeup, I usually use my professional primer or any other silicone based primer that I may have, but mostly professional primer. So this is product number <laughs> And now moving on to my next product, which is my absolute all-time favorite highlighter. It helps me get that really nice, naturally dewy-looking skin for that everyday look. Um, I'm talking about my favorite high beam highlighter. Now this highlighter can be a little too white um, if you don't blend it properly, and it kind of dries fast, so you have to be very, very quick with your blending. It's not glittery, it's not chunky. It just has that very nice sheen to it. Um, you know that helps you get that nice, naturally dewy-looking skin. This is the mini version of the high beam highlighter before this also I had the mini and now I think I'm gonna finally settle and buy the big one because I know this is my holy grail number one highlighter so I'm just gonna invest once and for all in the big bottle my favorite tint of all time it's the Benetton I haven't finished this bottle completely but I'm gonna finish it in the next 10 days or so I thought since I'm making a video of all the product empties I should also include this as well because I'm not gonna be making another product empty anytime soon and this is a mini uh, version of the Benetton Tint. This is a very very liquidy watery tint. It works best if you apply on your bare skin. If you apply on makeup, it won't really show as much. It doesn't really have a lot of color to it. It will give you a very natural finish. So depending on the intensity of blush that you love on your cheeks, you can you know just keep adding layers of the tint. I just apply one layer of this tint on my cheeks and I just dab it with my fingers and I think that's it. But you know there are days when I'm feeling a little too extra and that's when I go for two layers and you know it's like a little too obvious on me but I don't really care because I love blush you guys know that if you're looking for a tint that you can apply on your makeup as well then you can go for go go tint you can go for posse tint and all the other tints that they have in this collection um, because all the other tints are not as watery as Benetton all those tints apply really well on your makeup as well as on bare skin so moving on to the last and final benefit product I'm not really sure if I really like it um, or if I'm gonna buy it again I'm actually talking about precisely my brow eyebrow pencil right so this is a regular twist and turn uh, eyebrow pencil but it didn't really have a lot of product I fill in my brows every single day and I have bushy brows so I need to like fill in all the gaps and everything give it proper shape you know I use a lot of eyebrow pencil and I finished it within like 10 days if you have um, you know for example like very very scanty eyebrow hair and if you want to create that illusion of uh, you know like eyebrow hair and stuff then you can use this pencil this will be very handy for you because it will give you that really nice um, you know natural looking hair kind of for texture on your brows but you know for somebody who's got bushy brows I don't think this really works I have other benefit eyebrow products which I'm really fond of and they have been in my vanity since the time I bought them I have been using them since forever so with that these were all the benefit products we hope benefit collaborates with me because it's gonna be so expensive he's talking all of these items together let's just hope all right and now moving on to the next product now this is 
another one of my favorite favorite highlighters it's the YVP Shreya Jain color creams in the shade goddess this is such an amazing highlighter like it's a little stronger than my benefit high beam of course um, benefit I only use for my you know everyday look like a daytime look um this is the highlighter that I use for my evening look if you're looking for that blinding highlight definitely this is your highlighter and it is totally controllable if you want that blinding highlight it will give you the blinding highlight if you want that really nice soft dewy look you can totally control it and you know create whatever look out of it and now moving on to my next favorite product it's my ellie girl pro conceal concealer in the shade pure beige um this is my third or fourth tube like i've lost count completely I use it on my bare skin and i blend it using my fingers this is another one of the product that i use for my everyday look and surprisingly the shade is always out of stock like whenever i want to buy this shade it's always out of stock so hopefully i will be able to stock up on it soon because i really need it like i cannot do without this concealer structro concealer can compete with any high-end concealer any day this product is again a concealer this is the l'oreal true match concealer now this concealer used to be my all-time favorite this was the brightening concealer that i used um um, but you know then a lot of products came and then I started trying those products out and I completely forgot about this concealer so this is the only bottle that I bought I never restocked on it or anything so it took me a while to finish it I have a lot more other concealers at the moment that I'm really um, you know addicted to um, so I don't think I'm gonna be buying any more of this but having said that it's not a bad product moving on to the next product which is a lash glue now for the longest time I had been using duo which is slightly expensive and then came the packed lash fixer and this is exactly the same duo is like really expensive it's it's a lot of money to spend on a lash glue like sometimes i feel like why are lash glues so expensive it's just a glue duo is safer for eyes because it's all tested and everything i'm not really sure about this if this is tested uh, but it works equally well it dries transparent and it's much cheaper than that if you're looking for an alternative lash glue then you can definitely try out the packed lash fixer all right and now moving on to the final product that I've finished it's the pack translucent setting powder so I use this powder a lot these days for my baking mostly because it's cheaper than all the other powders that I have so it doesn't really give me a stroke when I'm applying so much quantities when I'm baking that's the reason I use this powder a lot the consistency is also good it's not very very fine I would say it does the job of baking really really well and with that these were all of my makeup empties I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave with that I will see you in my next video. Bye!